Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We got five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. It's a TGIF, folks. Let's make it a great one. Be impeccable with your words. Seek to know the truth. When you hear an opinion and believe it, you make an agreement. It becomes part of your belief system. Only the, the only thing that can break this agreement is to make a new one based on truth. Only the truth has the power to set you free. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials trading down 650, NASDAQ off 396, S&P's off 103, gold contract down $17.90, traded 1702 an ounce. With silver down 54 cents, 20 dollars 11 cents an ounce. Light sweet crude up $4.63, $93.08 a barrel. Notes and bonds, a 10 year note down 16 ticks, trading at a price point of 111.14, the 30 year. Down 28 at 125.13 in King Dollar. King Dollar's up 540 ticks, trading at 112.800. The Euro's at 97, the Yen's at 145, and the British Pound is at 110 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. I want to know what's going on in your world. In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Well, you had the jobs number come out this morning. Well, first off, if we go, we, we, we know... Looking at the, at the whole week out here, the bottom line is that you did get a sign of strength coming off the lows, uh, you know, on Monday, on Tuesday, rather. Okay, De decent day. Okay, uh, we did 103 million shares. Now you can see what, what's happening here, folks. Okay, so when I mean specifically see what's happening here, we are backing down now. F wide price spread, but the volume is contracting dramatically. So that's telling me on the spy here right so on the spy right now we're at 362 now i doubt oh no this would be cool okay so check this out man so you get a friday afternoon you know who wants to buy coming into a friday afternoon on a down day right okay so what i'm setting up here folks first for you bulls out here i'm setting up a bullish scenario and this is what it would be so the high of the low period, meaning it, the, the low that was established last week, that, that low is 357. Well, the high of that was 365.91. Now, you're three points away from that in the SPY. We'll see. If you got a rally coming into the close and you close somewhere near that, that'd be saying that, guess what? That's it, man. You don't get that, you're going right after it, man. And, you know, we'll see how this baby shakes out. That's in your SPY. We take a look at the NDX 100. So this, the NDX 100 is trickier for sure. The NDX 100, uh, we have, we're into the bar way too far. The top of that bar there is 275, you're 269. The bottom of the bar is 267. Uh, you've done uh, 50 million shares and you're going to 78. So there is a contraction of volume there also. Let me go back to the SPY again, because I want to see how this is set up, because the SPY might be set up the same way on the weekly. On the weeklies, it looks like they're setting up larger ABC structures down. Yeah, the weeklies are, too. Yeah, they are. See, if this is an ABC down, it's going to be a monster, man. It's going to be a monster. Because if we go to the SPY, they look at, uh, what, 411? Yeah, that's uh, 55. That's 320. Yeah, 320 brings you over here. What's that? That's uh, October of 2020. This is this close, I can tell you, is going to be important. Uh, there hasn't been a bounce all day, not even close either. Uh, we'll see what, whether comes in, one comes in. What has been happening in a bad market is that the gold equities have basically held up. Uh, let me show you first the contract, okay? So the contract... We take a look at the contract, and what you have with the contract is you're backing down with 148,000 contracts. You got to 1698. It's at 1703 right now. And you can see that you're going into 215,000 contracts and 205. So that says it wants higher price. We go take a look at the bond market. And what we have inside the bond market is that this is going right after its lows. 
Now let's watch this, because this is going to be cool. How we're going to piece this. Yeah, see, this is cool too, man. So, so look at this. So the bond market, you're coming into how we came off the bottom. Now look at, that's a contraction also. That's 1.1 million contracts going into 2.9. Okay, now we go to King Dollar. So, what gets intriguing here now when you start putting together the aspect of where the bonds are and where gold's going, you know, we know we have this high out here. Now, that being said, it's actually got my head wrapped around the aspect of that if this dollar was going to the highs again, right? Now, that's the, the highs are open, that's for sure, okay? Because the low of the high is 112.561. Well, we're at 112.813. Um, that might do it. And, and where, I'm, where I'm going with this whole deal, folks, is this, is that it looks to me that, number one, you, you're pulling back into the lows with light volume. Then what you're also doing is that the bond market is pulling into its lows with a huge contraction. And gold is not getting killed. Yeah, I mean, look at, I mean, we own this equity, but this is really intriguing. Anglo Ashanti, right? I mean, you get a bad day in the market, and this thing is only down 25 cents, man. This thing is going to, wants to do an ABC structure up. So, and let's go, well, let's go to the dog. See, the dog of the whole gold market and the largest weighting structure is Newmont. But even Newmont, look at Newmont, 5.5 million shares, and you're going into 12.9. So when I start putting all of that together, that's telling me that what's going to happen here is that the low that is established, you know, the last low that we have that it's trying to test right now, that's telling me that that low is probably going to hold, it might spike it, uh, but it's also telling me that it's not like you're going to take another leg down before you get another bounce. That's kind of how it goes. My take, uh, the larger take, now that's, that's the take right now. And I'd say that, you know, right now, the next couple of weeks, okay? My larger take is that, you know, the SPX is at, you know, 3,600 and 3,100 is gain. That's kind of, and where I'm getting the 3,100, folks, that's the high of the low of COVID. That's where I think we're going. Stay right there, folks. Come right back.